One of my favorite things in this entire world, well, technically one of our favorite things in the entire world is sleeping. Yeah. I love it. Claire loves it. I love and it. what do you need to sleep? Very peacefully and comfortably. A bed. A bed. So today, we're going to look at some of the coolest beds ever freaking made. Ever. Literally. Ever. Yeah. All I'm thinking about now is you are sleeping and you wake up and there is a gorilla looking right at you and he goes, Hey. I actually think that this would be a really cool bed. Like you're one with nature, but you're in a room. You okay. Know? Let's say like since for like a one night stay. I'm not talking about your everyday bed. I'm talking about a one night stay. This would be a cool experience. Absolutely not. Why? It's dark out and everyone can see inside and you can't like You're sleeping. I can go ahead and guarantee you, I would bet you twelve billion dollars you would not sleep in this. Yes, I would. Literally, no, you wouldn't. You don't even sleep without the lights on. Wait, was your neck a little sore? Was your bed not soft enough last night? My neck is tweet. Ow! Stop touching it. I need it to be better. Massage it. But yeah, I would never sleep in this. Claire says she would, but she definitely would not. I, I would. There's no way. I would! What are we, a freaking bald eagle? Wait, that's actually so dope. You know what they should have said? I guarantee you, I take this picture, I post it on Facebook and say, I cannot believe that bald eagles build nests like this. And I guarantee you somebody will say, that is insane. Where did they get the pillows? Guarantee you. Guarantee. Guarantee, mate. You know, um, I think if you love swimming pools this much, just get a water bed. Or don't put your bed in the pool. Mm -hmm. Also, look at that TV. It's literally ancient. Good, good <laughs> observation. Put it there. I'm more concerned, where do they plug it in at? That seems like an electrical explosion waiting to happen. Oh, that is a very good point. Also, imagine how, like, humidity. Humidity? Humid. 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 Imagine how humid it is in there. Very. And it smells like chlorine. Ooh, No. I kind of like to smell chlorine. But not to, like, sleep in. Yeah, probably not. Kind of a weird little thing here. Weird that's little gotta be, Weird little vibe. I hope that's fake. If that's not fake, that is... A, it's got to be fake. Let's just assume it's fake. That's just straight up frightening in multiple ways like is that supposed to be like the look you know does it stay open like that or because all i would be thinking about while i'm sleeping is like is this gonna fall on me i feel like they could have done this way better and use patrick star's little rock you know oh. instead of it being like a like a box thing it's a rock that been but cool. also if you look in the top left i think it's held up oh. by a string so is there a clown under the bed or does that is that just me so you're worried about the clown under a bed that's not there, but you'll sleep in a glass box in the middle of nature? Yeah. Oh, that's not a chicken. That's a duck. Quank, quank. I literally thought that was a chicken. Look at the feet. Yeah, that's what I saw. And I saw its face and I'm like, that's a duck. I ain't no chicken. It's got chicken feet though. Like, what is that? Is that a baby bed? Is that an adult bed? What the F am I looking at? And also, how rich do you need to be to, like, look at that painting in the background. Very, very rich. That's gotta be worth $12 billion, that painting. And there's, like, a duck on the nightstand, too. They love duck. I hardly think that this could potentially be very cozy. Because, like, you're kind of, like, you're not trapped, but you're kind of just, like, cozy. Where's the TV? Like, not everybody needs a TV in their bedroom, Andrew. Everyone needs a TV in their bedroom. No, they don't. What are you going to do? Talk to each other. What if you're a solo person? Read a book. What if you can't read? Listen to music. Oh, unfortunately for you, you don't have an iPod. Sleep. That's what you'll do. Another one. It looks like the rich people have the cool beds. This one looks kind of like a dragon. I'm getting like a dragon feel. Do you feel it? Do you I'm feel the dragon? I'm just very overwhelmed. Like, Why? is that a big bed or is that just a really tiny bed? That's a good, uh, good question. I mean, look, see that door? That's probably, I know my doors. It's probably like an eight foot door. At the top, it's probably 10 foot. So that bed's probably like six feet, six feet, seven feet long. It's a good size bed. But height wise, that thing's pushing at least 15 feet, at least. And at its peak, those little things at the corners, that's that's a 16.245 mm. feet bed. I know, I know, I read it in a book. If you're one with death, boom, get a casket, sleep in that. Um, Does that say that's Airbnb? That's literally Airbnb. That is so creepy. Yeah, would oh, you ever? Would you no, ever? I would not sleep in some okay, weird like, no, escape I'm not saying, room looking no, like, I'm, no, mummy five no, freaking no, casket no. looking Airbnb. I want to do it. I'm not. Get over here. Get over here. I'm going to be nice, okay? Okay. Um, Shut your mouth. 
You asked me a question, I replied. All I'm saying is how much money to spend one night in here with the casket not closed. You, you don't have to sleep the casket closed, but you just have to spend the night. 20 million. What? I'm not doing it. I would do it for like 10 bucks. Literally, no, you want it. Where did you just get this huge boost of bravery? Like, no, you want it. You, you want to even kill that wasp yesterday. You actually did though, which is impressive. She was afraid to go up to a wasp that she killed. It was dead on the ground and she wanted to go up to it until I confirmed the kill. I'm like, bro, you already killed I it. I killed it. That's what so. I'm saying. <laughs> I have a feeling that this one might hurt your back because it's rock. The comforter look kind of looks like bacon. I feel like you don't know what bacon looks like because you're vegan. If this is bacon, we could actually eat this because I'll eat the bacon, you can eat the rocks. Can I ask a logistical question? Hit me. How did they get that in there? They built it inside. Or better yet, they built the house around the big fat rock. Or maybe they built the house, went to the basement. Oh my God, there's a huge mountain in here. What are we gonna do with it? We didn't see that when we were building it. They chiseled out the bed. Boom, one of a kind. That thing weighs 12 billion pounds. That's probably what happened. I feel like this, looks this like is a, like an insane asylum. Let me speak. Take it off. Like I'm mid thought, I never interrupt you. What? What you gotta say about this, babe? I feel like this looks like like an insane asylum. E, no, I can't talk because I'm scared. Come back, I'm sorry. Come on, come on. Keep going. No, I'm, I'm curious. Go to the next. Go to the next one. Let's see what the next one looks like. Only in Texas. What'd you see? <laughs> a Chevy as a bed. Somebody loves their truck so much that they decided to make it their bed. Andrew, please come back. I don't like being alone. That's what I thought. Get off. Get off. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I was really hoping this next <laughs> picture I could really relate to so I could just show you how much better I am at reacting, but I don't know what to say. I'm honestly at a loss of words. Are those feathers? I don't know. Is that a big old thing of ramen noodles unflavored? It's making me very uncomfortable. That's all I can tell you. Like the longer I look at it. I know exactly what this looks like. Look at that. These are called rice noodles. Tell me if these are the same. That, boom. Huh. They are sleeping on a big pile of rice noodles. Interesting. I, I initially thought it was a frog. <laughs> I initially thought it was an alien. And now it's just a weird backboard. Like it looks like something in Monsters, Inc. I don't know why. Oh, it kind of does. All right, feel me up, feel me up, son. Feel you up. Feel me up, son. Touch me up, let's go. Ooh. Touch me up sounds better. Ooh. Touch me, dab me up, son. Yeah, yeah. Under the sea. Under about? the sea. <gasps> Andrew, it's from Little Mermaid. I've never watched I've never seen that movie. You've never... Get out of here. I'm just curious, is this in a bed or like a museum? Because like, who you know, sleeps you know with what, a Andrew? curtain? Um, I don't know. I think if you have that bed, your your other room decor is probably gonna be unique as well. Like that chair? Or just it all. Is that chair for like someone to just stare at them? I'm just saying, anyone that uses this type of bed, I could see them being so like conceited, is that a word? That they go, you must watch me while I sleep. Mm -hmm. Pull that chair up and watch. And you're like, okay, can I like, Throw some AirPods yeah. and listen to some music, mm -hmm. and they're like, "No!" Under the sea. Wow, this da, da. one is just—you know what? I feel like sea. I feel like someone that uses this type of bed is so conceited that they would pull a chair up and okay, tuck them. Okay, we get it. Sorry, babe. They made a bed out of your dinner last night. Get it? Because she's vegan and it's grass. This makes me itchy. This just makes me itchy. Like, you know when you were a kid and you've been playing in the grass and then like you're all itchy? Or is that just me? Am I allergic to grass? I don't you know, know, I wasn't playing in grass when I was a kid. I would usually play with my friends, you know, play kickball, but not, I would not play with grass. Is that a floating bed? Like what is, is that? But like it's a floating bed on a floor frame. That probably makes it super quiet. Like, you know how like the floor creaks and it's like, that's probably like, but like, why wouldn't you just figure out a way to do it without a frame that it's supposed to be on the floor? There's literally so much about this bedroom that makes no sense. Like those tiles in the background, those aren't for bedrooms. That's like for like a kitchen or something, right? Like what the F is going on there? Look at the candles too. It looks like a, yeah, what is <laughs> going on? But then it's like on? the whole vibe is just thrown off by this Hawaiian print 
like comforter yeah. and then this really fuzzy blanket. It's like, are you in Hawaii or are you in Antarctica? And they have curtains covering like fully stretched out curtains covering like half of the like window or whatever. I don't know, they need help. This room just makes me want to punch myself in the mouth, but I'm not gonna do it because that would hurt because they hit really hard. Look at these things. You want to get hit by that? Look at that. Well, there you folks have it. We looked at some of the fanciest beds ever. I would say about 3% of these were actually cool. Yeah. The other, what was that? 16%. I'm not good at math. We're not great at all. They kind of freaked me out. But make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications and we will see you guys in the next one. Wait, what was your favorite bed? Probably the grass one. Mine was probably that one where it's like kind of a box, but like not fully a box. And then we had the uh, argument about the TV. Oh yeah. What was your favorite, babe? Mine. Mm, good point. Okay, say bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> I'll, I'll shake to that. Ooh, that's stinky. <laughs>